another car video means we're back at it. <laughs> Today is day three in my cycle. It is early uh, Sunday morning to add to it, but I am down here at the clinic. It's kind of weird now with the whole COVID thing. I was, they sent me these instructions and I feel a little weird about them, but I'm gonna follow through, I guess. They, I'm supposed to stay in my car and they will call me when they are ready for me. I don't call them to check in. I just, I guess they just assume that I'm here on time. I don't know. So I feel weird about that. If it gets too far past, then I may call. Of course, I don't think they have a front desk person on Sundays. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've been here on a weekend, so. Anyway, it's day three. So today I will have an ultrasound done just to make sure that I don't have anything weird going on. Um, like any strange follicles or I don't know whatever they can see in today's ultrasound um, they're just checking to make sure things look good I am a little nervous about it I'm not gonna lie I, I think that the nerves just come when you start doing fertility stuff so hopefully it all goes fine um, then I haven't been told yet whether or not I'm going to be doing the crinone which is the extremely expensive applicator progesterone or if i'm going to be doing the prometrium which is the much cheaper capsule that i had an allergic reaction to back in march but oh, they're calling me anyway i haven't been told so we shall see who knows what i'll find out today Uh, I did labs today too. I totally forgot that I had to do labs. This lighting is bad, sorry about that. Um, everything's looking good. The ultrasound went fine. I have one follicle, uterus looks fine. Ovaries look good. I do have one follicle that's measuring at a 12, which is a little big, she said, for the stage. Um, the labs, she will let, and she said that's, that could be something that's like left over and it's not going to grow or it could be one that's going to grow and she said the labs will let us know um what's going on it apparently it's the estrogen level that will in my labs that will help them determine what that follicle is doing if that follicle is a growing follicle then everything will just be bumped up A little bit in the timeline not sure what that means they'll just have to monitor it I'm sure but um, yeah everything looks good so I'm excited <sighs> relieved to have that part over I was a little bit nervous going in you just never know what they're gonna find you never know when you're gonna have a cyst or you know anything so it's good to know that I don't have anything in that like that going on and we can just kind of move forward and hopefully nothing weird happens with that follicle I mean I guess it doesn't matter if the timeline gets bumped up. Honestly, if the timeline gets bumped up, I'll be happy because I'm already doing this a little bit later than I wanted to. And the earlier we can do it, the better, assuming everything works out just for the due date. Um, the earlier, the better. So anyway, okay, that's the update. Uh, we'll see how it goes from here. We don't start ovulation tests for about a, just over a week. However, I do hear her back on my blood root, blood test results today to see if there's anything going on. So that's where we're at.